Effects of T-Consciousness Fields on Cell Cycle Progression in ATP Production in Rogi and HEC-293 Cell Lines under Microgravity in Earth's Gravity Conditions, based on Tahiri's Theory. The outline of this presentation is as follows. Background, Consciousness, T-Consciousness Fields, the aims of this study, material and methods, results, discussion, and conclusion. Gravity has shaped the evolution of life on our planet. It has been demonstrated that reduced gravity can have detrimental effects on human physiology, such as immune system dysfunction, decreased bone density, and muscle atrophy. Ground-based facilities such as Kleinostat device are designed to simulate the microgravity environment. Although it's not possible to remove the gravity vector on Earth's surface, this device can simulate partial reduced gravity conditions. According to Tahiri, the founder of Cosmo Intel Research Center, T-consciousness is a fundamental element of the universe, and information, matter, and energy originated from it. Generally, the field concept is used frequently in physical laws such as gravitational and electromagnetic fields. In this approach, there are various T-consciousness fields with non-physical entities that can be examined through laboratory experiments. The aim of this study was to investigate the effects of T-consciousness fields on cell lines in altered gravities. Moreover, this study allows us to determine whether the influence of these fields is gravity-dependent or not, and it can provide an opportunity to explore the alleviative effects of T-consciousness fields on cells under microgravity stress. These fields were applied to the samples according to Cosmo Intel Research Center. This access is available for everyone at no cost. In the first experiment, Raji cell line exposed to microgravity by kleinostat rotation at 30 rpm for 48 hours. In the second experiment, HEC 293 cell lines were subjected to this stress for 24 hours. Figure 1 illustrates Raji cells in Kleinostat device and Earth's gravity condition. Half of the samples were under the influence of pharodharmony as one type of T consciousness fields. We use flow cytometry to determine cell cycle stages. Moreover, ATP production of HEC-293 cell line was evaluated by measuring the luciferase enzyme activity. The results showed that the stress of microgravity significantly induced the sub-G1 phase and reduced the percentage of G1 and S phases compared to Earth's gravity condition. However, the behavior of pharodharmony treated samples remained almost unchanged. While microgravity significantly reduced the cell population, pharodharmony treated cells under microgravity showed a similar population as samples in Earth's gravity condition. In HEC 293 cell line, similarly, microgravity caused a notable rise in the sub G1 phase compared to the Earth's gravity. However, T consciousness fields prevented this impact of microgravity on this portion of the cell cycle. The S phase in the T consciousness field treated cells was significantly higher compared to their clinorotated counterparts. Moreover, under Earth's gravity condition, T consciousness fields increased the G2 phase compared to the control.
Evaluating the concentration of ATP showed that microgravity reduced ATP production significantly in both control and T-consciousness fields treated samples. However, samples treated with T-consciousness fields showed twice the ATP levels compared to the control. Many studies have revealed that the microgravity stress adversely affects cell cycle progression and increases apoptosis. It has been known that the presence of cells in the sub-G1 phase is a characteristic marker indicating apoptosis. In this study, T-consciousness fields treated cells tolerated reduced gravity and remained alive. Moreover, a remarkable increase in the S phase was observed in the HEC293 cell line under the influence of T-consciousness fields in the microgravity environment, which may be related to the induction of growth and proliferation. The reduced ATP under microgravity stress may be attributed to the mitochondrial dysfunction. According to a study, real and simulated microgravity can affect cellular mitochondrial function. In conclusion, T-consciousness fields altered sample behavior in both normal gravity and microgravity conditions. This indicates that T-consciousness fields operate independently of gravity. In this study, T-consciousness fields treatment inhibits the adverse impact of microgravity. It appears that the application of these fields may lead to the transfer of information that compensates for the absence of gravity. What if T-consciousness fields stop the damaging effects of low gravity on astronauts' bodies? Can we utilize this treatment during a space mission? Our research team. And thanks for your attention.